All right, hello folks, and welcome back. This is Andrew here with another episode of Bevo's Tech Pack. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm still not sure about using my name or Mallrat. Mallrat Drew. Yeah, whatever. Um, either way, my intros are awkward, so we'll just go with whatever is the most awkward. I think that'll be whatever is the most uncomfortable for everybody. I think we'll go with that. <laughs> um, anyway, so after uh, my last uh, little bit of a setting into an episode. I had lost all my stuff. Um, I went ahead and I spawned my items back in, including the eight heart canisters I have. Um, for any of the chisel stuff I had, I just went ahead and I took that for a loss, but I did spawn back in like thermal padding and stuff from uh, Galacticraft because it is not necessarily hard to make, but it is annoying to make. That's uh, the worst of it is the annoying stuff. Um, but what we're doing today, it's probably going to be a short episode. We're going to be looking at open computers a little bit. I had originally wanted to do this uh, last episode and just uh, cut through a lot of stuff, but I mean, really, there's no point. I can, uh, I could probably cover it a little bit better just to show some of the way it works and stuff. As a fair warning, I know a bit of Lua. I'm not fantastic at it. <laughs> uh, most of the programs I've ever made are um, fairly simple, and the fact they usually don't have a GUI or anything like that, and it's a uh, really simple with uh, very poor error checking. So what we're going to do today is going to be a very, 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 it's, it's extremely very bare bones look at open computers. Uh, there are a slew of better uh, videos put out that you could look for if you want actual information about the mod. This is just going to be me playing with it. Also, this episode comes with a disclaimer. I may use words that will upset you, they will inflame you, and they would otherwise cause you rage. That's okay. And when it comes to Minecraft mods, balance, overpoweredness, and such is subjective. What's fun for you may not be fun for somebody else. What's overpowered for me may not be overpowered for somebody else. It's okay. We can disagree. We'll be fine. And on that note, let's uh, get some computer work going on. So the question I have is where to get started. And I think probably the best bit here is going to be what is open computers and what is it not? The number one thing to stress, and it is the really only thing to stress about what open computers is not, and that is it is not a clone of Computercraft. They are two different mods that while yes, they let you make computers in Minecraft, they approach it from pretty different ways. And it's a, uh, it's really, 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 really important to stress that they don't do it the same and one is not a copy of the other. Um, anyway, so as you might be able to tell from my inventory right here, I've got a ton of stuff on my person and it looks a little bit ridiculous, some of the stuff I have here, but all of this stuff is going to be needed to make a computer. Uh, what we're gonna be putting together right now is just a little simple uh, tier, well, it's a, technically it's a tier two, but it's not. I don't have all tier two stuff. Um, so anyway, we have a computer case right here. If you notice, it's got slots here. These are labeled two, one, two, 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 and one. So what these are for, these are for add-on cards. Um, you might notice as I mouse over these slots, it actually will highlight an item inside of my inventory. So this is a tier two. So it can get the graphics card here, as well as the internet card and the graphics card in the slot. Um, for my purposes, I can't actually use this graphics card. I made this by mistake before. I have to use a tier one because I need it in that slot. And the uh, internet card, which is a tier two, goes right there. And you might notice as we put these in here, they're actually getting little uh, numbers appended to the bottom there. That is an identifier for that com particular component. So that looks to be good. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the only other thing I can think of to show real quick that's kind of neat. If you notice this, we mouse over it. It has this thing where it says hold left shift for detail tooltip. That actually just gives you a description of the item. Also, it has L menu, which is actually uh, alt. And this just tells you what it takes to make this one particular item. Now, this is usually pretty accurate, but for some stuff it's completely wrong, so I'm not quite sure how it's uh, actually calculated. But it does give you a good idea. 
Um, for example, for a lot of this stuff, you're going to see references to mushrooms and spider eyes and stuff. That is because all of the circuit boards in open computers are made, these things right here, the printed circuit boards, are made using circuit boards, gold nuggets, yeah, gold nuggets, and grog. I'm pretty sure the grog is actually a throwback reference to uh, the Monkey Island series of games because it is a quote-unquote highly toxic pseudo liquid usually only consumed by certain pirates thanks to its corrosive nature it is perfectly suited for etching circuit boards um i vaguely remember i could be wrong but there was a bit in monkey island where you accidentally spilled some grog and it ate through the deck i think it might have been the uh floor of a bar or whatever but i it's actually a really fun game series i really do like it and i was greatly amused to see that there the only problem is this entire process of you making grog to etch you only get to use this once and you need a ton of circuit boards for this mod, so it's going to drive you crazy. All right, so right here we have the basics to computer. We have a case filled out with components and we have a screen. Uh, right now though, it's not going to do anything because this thing needs power. On top of that, there's also something else that it needs. Uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and put this, well, you tell you what, let's actually just show you what happens. Um, I believe I can power this directly from the capacitor bank to the computer case. At one point you couldn't do that, but I'm pretty sure this version supports that. So we just want to tell this to output. That looks good. That looks like it's taking power. So if we come over here and turn this on, on, nothing's happening. All right, so what I want to do is go ahead and get this keyboard real quick, put it down on top. All right, so we get an error message now that we can actually see. It says, unrecoverable error, no bootable medium found, file not found. That's because while we have the hard drive and stuff in here, it's a blank hard drive. There's nothing on there. There's no operating system. It's just like a regular computer. The uh, What you have to do is you need to install an OS, which is why I have a disk drive, which I would never use for any other reason besides that. Um, Okay, so if we go ahead and we put this thing right here, this is a floppy disk with open OS on it, which is the operating system for these open computers. Um, you can make this really easy. It's just made combining a floppy disk and a book. And that's, again, circuit boards, and it's pretty cheap stuff. Uh, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and put this in here. You get that nice, satisfying click sound. I really do like it. And we're going to go ahead and reboot this thing. All right, let's check this out. And what it's doing right now is actually uh, starting up the computer, booting from that floppy drive. And what we want to do is we actually want to go ahead and uh, install this to the hard drive that's on the computer. And to do that, I just want to go do install. Uh, we only have one hard drive, so I know it is going to be that hardware address right there. All right. And we get the nice little blink and lights thing going on there, as well as the power light. It's very nice. There we go. So hologram right there, and it's the B B six C. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up the Lua prompt again. Uh, we're going to do hollow equals component dot hologram since what we want is the very first instance of the hologram and if we do hollow like that it'll actually list out the functions and it's the address um, but what this will let us do is actually create a little floating image above this uh, there's two tiers to this this is the really basic tier one so it's going to be limited in size and it's monochrome the higher up one I think supports like three colors so it's like green red blue and something else whereas this is just green um, but what we can do, just for an example, is we want to do... I'm pretty sure there's a fill command. Let's see if this works. It's um, hollow.fill. Ah, that does work. Fantastic. Um, so what this will do is it will take a... Dun, 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 fills an interval of a column with a specified value. Okay, so that works. So let's go ahead and do a hollow.fill. Uh, let's do x one for simplicity sake, Z one for simplicity sake. And 
okay, we can include min y, we don't actually have to, so it's going to assume it starts with 1, we'll just go ahead and tell it 5. All right, and we want to tell it true, or we can do 1. So 1 or true, same thing. And if we look over here, we have a little column floating right there being projected from the, holo the hologram projector. That's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, what I want to try to do though is I want to use this thing right here to actually make a sign for this lab and I think I can do it. At least I hope I can do it. You know, rather than reinvent the wheel, I was uh, going to try to do this by hand and while I could definitely make a sign basically painting pixel by pixel, it's not really pixel, it's a voxel, painting voxel by voxel, um, there's a better way. Um, one of the things you can get from open computers and dungeon chests is a floppy disk of a random program. So there's things like uh, IRC, OPPM, some other stuff. Anyway, the OPPM, I believe, is a package manager program. Um, if we go ahead and type in OPPM. All right, we're going to install it to OpenOS, which is the... Uh, only hard drive available. Hopefully this will fit. I'm not sure if it will actually. All right, so there's a bunch of things here. What we want to do is go to uh, OPPM is list. Yeah, OPPM list. All right. So what this is doing, this is looking through a repository of programs made for open computers um, and it's going to give us the ability to actually go ahead and download them to the computer we have here and we could do this since we actually have the internet card installed that's why I have a tier 2 computer you need a tier 2 computer to have access to the internet card I've probably said that but it's a uh, it's worth saying again um, what we're looking for is a program that is I think probably going to be under hollow demos All right, so it successfully installed package hollow demos. Uh, what we do need to do though is to find out what it installed. I'm actually not too sure. Uh, we're going to do ls slash user. What we got in there? All right, so hollow flow, hollow text. Okay, so we want to run uh, user bin hollow text dot lua. Okay, no primary hologram available. All right, so let's fix that, right? Bam. All right, so since we didn't tell it to do any text, it's using open computers. It also generated a random uh, noise map. This is currently uh, probably too big to be seen. Let's come up top here. There we go. So look, it's got open computers right here scrolling across the uh, area. That's uh, pretty neat and I think that's actually kind of along the line of what I want to do is have like a little scrolling sign. All right. See if we can go ahead and pass it an argument for uh, if it needs quotes. Let's go for rat labs. All right and we gotta go back up top since I've yet to fix the scale. Yeah, there we go, Rat Labs. That is fantastic. So this definitely can do what I would like it to do. And how did you get over here, cow? Come in, come in. Okay, so this is a little bit more like it. Right now we have it scaled down to the uh, 0.33 size. This is just so that we can actually see what it looks like while we're down here. Uh, we also got rid of the uh, noise map that was going on there, so that's uh, a lot better. So we have this right now, it's scrolling rat labs. It's a little bit hinky, but I gotta tell you what, this is actually pretty awesome. I think I like the way it looks. Um, so we have this going, this is fine. Uh, as this is set up right now though, it would be completely useless. I need the sign to be running this way, which is what, uh, east-west is currently running uh, north-south. Um, I could go through there and adjust the program itself to convert 
the way that this is scrolling, that's not worth the effort. Um, what I can do though, I can take this nice here, buildcraft wrench. I believe any wrench that's compatible with buildcraft actually works for this, and we can actually rotate this. Um, so that's the right way, but now the text is reversed. So if we go ahead and do it two more times, there we go. And now we have it facing along the correct axis scrolling. We just need to work on getting up to the right size and to the right location. And for that, it's time to actually move some of the stuff around. All right, so I've been playing with the spacing, and I think this is actually looking pretty good. Um, what I'm going to need to do, though, is right now the... Uh, that quartz actually looks really good for the backing of this. The only problem is right now it's just literally a block of clort quartz. Oh my god. It is a block of quartz in the wall. And it's uh, it works, but it doesn't look too fancy. So I probably... No, let me rephrase this. I definitely know I need to make that look a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to go with the really super duper easy solution and hit... Um, multi-blocks and just like do a little edge around it. It should look nice and it'll also hide the little bit of the overlap that we actually get with the uh, text. It's a... Uh... See, it looks like it's wrapping around. It's actually because this texture... This texture... The uh, words themselves are actually in little one-by-one -one voxels. But other than that, I think this is actually coming pretty good. You know, looking at it, that doesn't look quite as good as I thought it would, but I think for now it'll do. Um, I need to figure out a better way to frame this sign area that we're doing right here, but I mean, for the most part, the hologram, it's pretty much spot on. And Rat Labs is officially open for business. Um, the only thing that you might notice that's a little bit bad right now if we ignore this is this hole right here. Um, I can fix that, though I'm not sure if I can actually fix it right now. Um, because I don't believe that these blocks will actually have a proper connected texture if I uh, mix the actual block block and that. Yeah, so this is a case of yes, I can hide it. No, it will not look right. So I'm probably going to need to get a new block to use for this outer wall to be able to hide that properly. That or what I want to do is actually use a... Um, well... Even the micro blocks don't connect, so I mean it's it's not going to connect no matter what I do. So I need to figure out a good way to hide that. On the whole, though, I am actually quite happy with uh, what I was able to get done today. Um, I definitely want to try some open computers from, for some other stuff, but it's probably going to be a little bit before I do so, just because of the actual setup and investment in getting the stuff ready. It is something though that I. I really do want to use and <coughs> excuse me one of my goals is to actually have the uh, spawners and stuff inside of this place controlled by a computer system so I can just walk up to something to help spawn this mob and it'll turn the system on for that I think it's really neat and I think it's something it's a uh, would be really a nice project to do however that is a long-term project I have far too many of those at the moment. I need to start finishing stuff before I get started on others. Anyway, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this episode of Bevo's Tech Pack while I can still speak right. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message in the comments below. And as always, have a good day. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cow Watching. It's officially day four, and the cow still has yet to see us. The question comes, will day five bring any changes? Next time, on Cow Watching.